breathing. What's so important about breathing and taking long, slow, deep breaths anyway? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I'm really, really grateful that you came by here today to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Well, what in the world is a metaphysical ministry? Well, first of all, it's completely spiritual, and spirituality and religion are two completely different things. So regardless of whether or not you have some religious faith that you follow, here at Metaphysical Ministry, you'll be just focusing on how we create our reality, because the metaphysics explains Actually, it's the philosophical explanation for quantum physics. So, we begin every week with a happy share. And my happy share is, I've been talking a good part of today. I did an interview this morning. I've been singing, and I've just been feeling so good because my voice has been very close to normal. So I know I continue to heal and even though I've been pronouncing a lot of words with S's in them, people have understood me today. I happen to talk on the phone a lot today. And that is a really happy share for me. So, what is this about breathing? Why does breathing matter? Well, think about this for a moment. Do you ever observe somebody who's depressed? Their posture's kind of hunched over and if they're sitting they're really in a slump they'll walk with their head down their shoulders forward what they're doing is they're scrunching up their body and their lungs don't have room to expand guess what breath is your life force you need to be able to take it in so why is it used in yoga in meditation in relaxation. Do you ever hear anybody say, in fact, I don't know if I still have it, but I had a sign on my desk that said stop and breathe. So anytime I caught myself feeling, I just stop and take three long, slow, deep breaths. And here's what happens when you do that. When you're breathing from your diaphragm, when you're breathing, you don't want to be going, shoulders don't move because then you're only getting air up here. That's not going to help you. It's not going to let you live full out. You want your belly area to expand as you inhale and to contract as you exhale. And actually, when you're working out, you want to exhale through your mouth. But when you want to meditate, when you want to relax, you want to inhale and exhale most of the time through your nose. So, what is happening when you're getting that long, slow, deep breath? You're running it through your core, through your body. At least that's how I do it. I see the breath coming up in through my crown, running down along my spine and all the way down to my energy center and then I exhale it out through my feet then I take my next breath coming up from Mother Earth up slowly and along my spine into my energy center and up and out my crown Father Moon so there is different energy coming masculine energy from above feminine energy from below and they mix just at my heart in exactly the right combinations you've heard of yin and yang it's the male the female and the male because each of us is composed of both male and female traits now when you're doing that deep breathing you're actually changing your brain wave pattern it's used in meditation and relaxation because when you get to the right kind of brain waves, you're open and receptive to be able to make changes that you actually can access 
your subconscious mind and that's where everything happens so when the breath gets you into the state where your brain waves are saying okay let's take in some new information and make some program changes you can do it your conscious mind can't do that and your conscious mind is the alert kind of brain waves Notice how differently you feel. In fact, right now, just sit real quietly. You might want to close your eyes to close out all the visual stimulation. And just inhale through your nose. And then you're going to hold it for a count of four and exhale. Just see how that feels for you. if you do that three times and if you do any kind of meditation you'll notice the directions almost always say inhale slowly hold the exhale three times so that's how long it takes to move you from your active brain state to your relaxed state and it can be a very profound relaxation. You can de-stress. Many people on the exhale think the words letting go. They're letting go of stress or stress out. Life and love in. Stress out. We're saying it up here not using that energy to distract or speak it. So, you can change your life with something as simple as learning how to breathe deeply. Now, if you're on the ministering page and you look up there, you'll see a Hold the Space page. If there's something you want to manifest in your life, it hasn't been happening, go down there and tell us what it is. And then I'll put it up on that page. Come back at least once a week. Tell your family and friends to do so too. Read every name and request on the page. Tell them to do it too. Don't have to know who they are. The universe does. And what you're doing is you're helping the universe to see that thought form because it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the universe knows, oh, well I guess you're really serious about wanting that. So it's going to come to you sooner always knowing it only comes to you when it's in your highest and best interest. Now, oh, if you haven't done so already and you go on over there, you give me your name and email address and I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I guarantee it's something different from what you've read or experienced before. I'm really grateful you came by here and I appreciate you're clicking like and share. Let people know we're here. I started this ministry online. And yes, I also have one where people come and we have a gathering in person. But I started it online because most of my life I couldn't find a congregation that held the same spiritual beliefs that I do. So I became an ordained metaphysical minister. And here we are now, and I get to share with you what you ask to know more about. <laughs> so go on there, participate. Let me know what your questions are about how you create your reality, about what spirituality means. I wish you a week filled with many blessings and learning to just take three deep breaths to quiet, calm yourself, and here's a cool part. It'll help you be more alert, think more clearly, to handle whatever it is you're doing in the moment. Blessings.